These are uncertain times with some borders shut and many flights cancelled. Simon Browning has been speaking to people who still don't know how or when they'll get home. Please, 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 you know, get us home to get back to work. My mum is very nervous. She wants to get back to the UK as well because we know that we've got our medicated and everything there. Trapped in far-flung corners around the world. Normally dream destinations, now desperate for escape. Hundreds of thousands of Brits are struggling to get home after the government advised people to return as the pandemic spreads. 18-year-old Will and his friend Ben have been travelling in Cambodia for a month. I'm Jane, Will's mum. We have done everything we can to get them out in the last 10 days. So far we've had two flights cancelled. We are sick to death of being told to get our boys home. When we're sick, we cannot do that. We are really concerned at the moment about the advice coming from the Foreign Office. It's non-existent. And then when they did reply, it was only one committee response. Since they've recommended some flights to us, but they've cost others of five grand. The atmosphere here is starting to get quite hostile towards us. Um, some restaurants are banning certain nationalities from entering. Um, and lots of hotels and home schools are shutting around the city as well. The challenge facing the Foreign Office is unprecedented. Embassies that are closed and staff flown home days ago, doors shut to our travellers. Dominic Raab told Parliament yesterday that staff in 168 countries are working around the clock, but it still isn't enough. We doubled our capacity. We're now doubling it again to deal with the surge in demand. The Malaga team took 28,000 calls in one day a few Fridays ago. As Foreign Office staff, we are spat at and abused when trying to help British nationals to come home, and they are working in tough situations, so I caution any member to suggest there is easy solutions to this. Tens of thousands of Brits have now returned from Spain. But as 80 countries place restrictions on their borders, usual routes via international hubs are closed. It's thought a thousand Brits have been stuck in Peru. Later today, 200 people will leave Lima on a government-backed British Airways flight, each passenger paying £250 to get home, and vulnerable passengers have been prioritised. But with airports around the UK now filled with grounded planes, questions are being asked if the government should be stepping in to provide more of these rescue flights. Ben and Will have flights booked for next Monday. But as the situation changes day by day, Brits are leaning on the Foreign Office, who face demand for support like never seen before. Simon Browning, BBC News. Turn to the weather prospects. Here's Ben Rich. Hello. Jane, thank you. Good afternoon.